G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Rob coming at you with another reaction video tonight. I hope you're all having a good week. My week's sort of been a bit ordinary. I've done my shoulder at the gym and I've been out of the gym for about a week so I'm sort of grumpy because I haven't been able to work out. I haven't really been able to do as much as I'd like because my shoulder's been out. Oh boo -hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. I've been putting the heat rub on and if you've never used heat rub, this is a shout out to all the Gold Coast residents. It's like being at the Rabina shopping center bus stop out the front of Target. You know that menthol smell? Yeah, that shit. If you wear that anywhere around people, you'll you'll clear the room out. Only use that heat rub when you're at home because it's it's some strong shit. Yeah, apart from that, I'm starting to feel a, a bit better. Tonight we're going to be checking out Concrete Jungle by Bad Omens and this comes in from Luis Cavallo. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name, but thank you for the suggestion. I'm not too familiar with Bad Omens. I've heard maybe one song by them. I think it was Just Pretend. You know, the one that's like, I can wait for you at the bottom. I can... You, you know that one? Which I think is a really good song. I don't know why I haven't heard more stuff by them, but now is my opportunity to check some more bangers out. These guys are from America. They're a rock band from America. I like rock music. I like metal music. So, you know, already off to a good start. This is Concrete Jungle by Bad Omens. I don't know what he said, but he's got a, a very sweet sounding voice. And I like the visuals, the black and white look, it's pretty cool. Guy had a fucking gun to another guy's head in a chair. I don't know what that's about, but... Oh, 
yes. Yeah, that was that was awesome. I'm getting sort of like a an inner city crime vibe from the song, like showing the the dark roots of the city and like all the crime that goes on. The concrete jungle is a city, you know, like living in the slums of the city. A bit of crime going on in the video, I guess sort of what they're going for. It probably goes in more depth in the lyrics, so I want to check those out because I couldn't really make out what he was saying. It was like really soothing at the start and then the fucking metal vocals came in and like the drums and the guitar was pretty awesome. Can you see yourself through the bruises when the makeup melts? Is that like someone trying to cover up abuse with makeup? In the dark when all the power's out, everybody talks and gets around when the money talks. Do you think it gets the point across? It's burning coal you're walking on and in a second all the pain is gone. I said it's enough. I begged and I ran in circles. I climbed the sun and fell in a concrete jungle. I said it's done, you never know if you'll get what you wish for. I climbed to the sun and I fell, I fell in a concrete jungle. So what I'm sort of getting from that is, and, and someone else has added here, it's like he went into the city with all these dreams and ambitions. I don't know if he's literally talking about a city here or if he's talking about just, you know, like having ambitions and that and then falling into crime or like falling into the depths. His ambitions not working out the way he wanted or something like that, or his goals going in the complete opposite direction. The coyotes cry and the sirens pass and harmonize. Fires starting every day and night burn around us while we're trapped inside. Wouldn't it be nice to play the game without a crooked die? Yeah, so I guess it's like he's saying that it's a roll of the dice, you know, it's up to luck, but he's got no luck because it's a crooked die. So he's always going to have no luck in a world where you don't have to hide. And then the chorus again, and then the breakdown. And I'm the fucking king. I want things that money can't buy. The price is pain to make this right. And I could buy a thousand lives so you can try to kill me but I can't fucking die, die. Obviously material possessions are little value to him and he wants things that are greater than that. And obviously he's got self-confidence. He's not letting the fact that he's fallen into this concrete jungle, uh, so he describes, get the better of him. And he's, you know, showing self-confidence by, you know, proclaiming he's the fucking king. So, you know, it's good to have self-confidence. You don't want to have too much self-confidence because confidence leads to arrogance. So you got to have a level head, be humble, but it's always good to be, you know, self-confident because if you're not confident in yourself, no one else is going to do it for you. And yeah, you got to be confident in this life. Even if it means you're in a bad state, you're in a concrete jungle and you're surrounded by shit and you feel like, oh, I've got a wrong hand. I've got the crooked dice, you know, like it's not, it's not going my way. You've still got to have confidence. I don't care how bad it gets. You still got to have self-confidence because things can only go up, you know. It's how you act, it's how you present yourself in life. If you keep going on about a negative mindset and, oh, everything's so hard. Oh, why was I dealt these cards? It's not going to change. You're just going to be stuck at the bottom, surrounded by walls. You're just going to be in your own little box and nothing's going to change. As soon as you start changing that mindset, you're able to lift the, the lid off that box and get the fuck out and do something about it. So mindset and confidence is everything in this life. And then the chorus... And then the outro, and I'm the fucking king. Yeah. What I'm getting from the song, it's basically him talking about, you know, having these ambitions, falling into a bad state, and then still having self-confidence that he can he can make it. I could be wrong, but that's sort of what I'm getting from it. And I, I like that message. I, I, I think that's a good message if that's what they're trying to get across. I think everyone should be able to see that and, and relate to it. Because, you know, we all go through hard times in life. Life isn't just a piece of cake. You're not always going to have instant gratification you're not always going to have your needs met sometimes you go through shit and it's normal but if you can be positive if you can have self-confidence if you can l not let the bad situation get the best of you then you're more likely to succeed in life than someone who just complains all the time and believe me i've been there yeah self-confidence is key and being true to yourself, he's talking about disguises. And I know especially people with anxiety and that or depression want to put on a face for people and wear a disguise. And I've been one of those people and still do it sometimes. If you can be true to yourself and be confident in the person that you are and you can look at yourself in the mirror. And I know this sounds corny as hell, but if you can say to yourself in the mirror, I love myself, I love myself. 
As corny as that sounds, if you can say that to yourself in the morning, every morning when you wake up, I've started doing it, not out loud, but in my head, I, I look at myself in the mirror and I say, I love myself because, you know, having confidence in who you are and being able to love yourself is the first step towards loving others. Because if you can't love yourself, how can you love someone else? So, you know, it all starts with you. So if you can do that, then you're already on the right direction. So anyways, guys, um, if you like the reaction, make sure to leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you've got any other songs you want me to check out and leave a like, that'll help me get up with the YouTube algorithm. I'm praying to the YouTube gods every day to help get my videos up there and yeah, so the channel's been going really good and I've been receiving a lot of support lately and it's all thanks to you guys too. And I know I probably say thank you way too much in these videos, but I really do mean it. So anyways guys, I hope you liked the video and if you got something out of it, then yeah, I'm glad. Oh, there's one more thing too. I'm going to see Steve-O tomorrow night in uh, Southport. And if you live in the Gold Coast and you see me, make sure to say hi. Don't be shy. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna be going, going to see Steve-O uh, from Jackass. He's doing a stand-up comedy tour. And he's one of my biggest inspirations in life. He's done some amazing work. And I'm really looking forward to, to seeing him. So it should be a good night. As anyways, guys, I hope you have a good night or a good day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.